in St. Anthony Parish. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent, traditionally known as Gaudette Sunday. Our presider for this Mass is our pastor, Father Rudy Juarez. The Mass intention is for Donald Flambeck. This is a message from Bishop Angelo. On the evening of Thursday, December 10th, Temp Temple Emmanuel in Davenport was vandalized with anti-Semitic graffiti. The Diocese of Davenport strongly condemns the desecration of Temple Emmanuel. An act of anti-Semitism at this holy place of worship on the first night of Hanukkah, targeting our Jewish friends and neighbors, is deeply disturbing. The Church decries hatred, persecution, and displays of anti-Semitism directed against Jews at any time and by anyone. Along with the members of other faith traditions, and with all people of goodwill in our community, we stand by the members of the Temple Emmanuel Congregation. There is a second collection today for All Saints Catholic School. This year we have 51 of our students enrolled at All Saints. Our financial commitment to support All Saints School is $61,200. This means our monthly second collections for All Saints are vitally important who are being able to meet this commitment to Catholic education. We have collected $4,711 so far this year. Please help us reach this goal. When coming forward for communion, please respect social distancing. Receive communion only on the hand. As a way of connecting with those of you listening to Mass from your vehicle on FM 89.7, we invite you to honk your horn right now to let us know you are out there with us. Afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Gathering to celebrate these sacred mysteries on this third Sunday of Advent, we rejoice in the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation, and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with the robe of salvation and wrapped me in the mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up all before the nations. The word of the Lord. Thank you, my soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. 
My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him, to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So that we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am a voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? Jesus, John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan when John, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Why is it that you suppose that at this time of year that we are so fascinated with the story about Ebenezer Scrooge in Dickens' A Christmas Carol or with the movie based on Dr. Seuss's book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Well, I think it has a lot to do with the spirit of the season but it also has a lot to do with the spirit of who we are and who and what we should not be at this time of the year or at any time of the year. We should not be selfish, unhappy, bored, wretched, mistrusting, and loveless. Because at the heart of the Christian life, we are called to be joyful, selfless, engaged, cheerful, and loving. In fact, St. Paul reminds us of this today as he tells the Thessalonians to rejoice always. And notice he doesn't say rejoice only when things are going well or rejoice when you have money or rejoice when you only have health or rejoice when everybody likes you because I'd be in trouble if everybody liked me. No, he says, rejoice always. This weekend, we celebrate Gaudete Sunday, Rejoice Sunday. And it is a reminder to us Catholics of the importance of rejoicing because the birth of our Savior is close at hand. And secondly, because of this fact, because of the incarnation, the way to heaven has been open to us. And third, the fact is that God is in our corner now, and this presence, this divine presence within us, can transform us if we allow it to. So, this spiritual transformation is indeed a cause for joy. Thomas Merton, the great mystic, was once asked if he could tell if someone had spiritual transformation 
going on in their life. And he said, it is very difficult to tell, but usually it is accompanied by a wonderful sense of humor. And he followed up with this observation. If I am self-centered and not God-centered, everything becomes intense and dramatic. When I take my eyes off myself, my faith, my spiritual progress, my sins, and rather look at my Savior, everything comes back into proper perspective. And I am filled with joy, the joy of the Lord. In this time of pandemic, we are called to joy. We are called to look at the Savior. Even if there are any number of things that could cause us to despair, to give up hope, or to lose trust. But holding on to the past, our former ways of thinking, or refusing to move on after a bad experience in our life, this is not what the Christian life is. So Ebenezer Scrooge and the Grinch prove a point. People who are miserly, people who are cold, people who are calculating, people who are mistrusting, and people who are unable to let go are miserable. They cannot find joy because they cannot trust. And if they cannot trust, they cannot have faith. So on this Gaudete Eve, I echo the words of St. Paul, have faith. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. This Advent, the gift of your Catholic faith is a wonderful treasure and cause for great satisfaction. For if you can trust, you can have faith, for faith helps you to love. And you absolutely need love to find joy. Because when all is said and done, faith, love, and joy are package deal. So, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, Lord of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he came back. For our sake he was crucified on the cross of Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to the Lord to offer our petition. That the Spirit of the Lord may be upon the anointed priests and bishops of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord God may make justice and praise spring up before all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That the God of love may give hope to hearts in need of redemption from sin or suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may make straight our way as we wait with joyful hope this Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord that the souls of the deceased may.
may rejoice forever in God, with Christ their Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Donald Flambeck, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. For the Jewish people, as they celebrate the feast days of Hanukkah, we pray to the Lord. For an increase of vocations to the religious life and to the priesthood, we pray to the Lord. And for the healing of the nation, we pray to the Lord. God of grace, we ask that you would hear our petitions, that you would grant all that we pray for in accord with your holy will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and in majesty, all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. There will be six Christmas Masses that you can access in person, by radio in your vehicle, or by video. Mass times are as follows. Christmas Eve, 3 o'clock p.m. in English, 5 o'clock p.m. in English, and 7 o'clock p.m. in Spanish. Christmas Day, 7.30 a.m. in English, 10 a.m. in English, and 11.30 a.m. in English. As this expected time of Advent make you think more about becoming Catholic, if you are already Catholic but don't have a parish home, we invite you to join our parish during Advent. Please see our staff after Mass to discuss any of this. I would just uh, like to point out, of course, you've seen the decorations here in church, uh, the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe here. Uh, it's a big special day. Today is the 12th of December. That's the feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And it commemorates the apparition of the Blessed Mother on, the, uh, on a mountain outside of Mexico City back in 1531. And uh, she left her imprint, and this is the imprint on the cloak of the fellow that she appeared to, Juan Diego. And so it's a big day uh, throughout the world, but especially in Mexico and for the Mexican people, but for all people who are devoted to the Blessed Mother. And indeed, uh, it was a big, big day here today even though we weren't able to celebrate it like we would have normally have done. The other thing I would like to comment on is the announcement that you heard that came from the bishop regarding the desecration of Temple Emmanuel, uh, which happened on the very first night of Hanukkah, of the special holy days. And it's just so sad, and it's terrible. And we need to really be ashamed of anybody who would ever resort to this kind of nonsense and this hatred. We have too much hatred. We have to be loving people. We have to be kind. We have to be accepting. We have to be truly American because our country was founded on liberty and justice for all. And the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go for it.